from on high, I have descended, my children. I, the Pope of YouTube, known amongst you plebs as Red Chaos One, your delusional superior. I have come with another review for a web novel that was requested by Hido F. Please remember that, that, he, that if there is anything that you want me to do in future, please leave a request in the comments below and I guarantee you I will do it. So this video has been brought to you by my web novel Phantom Druid, which is an action high fantasy that can be found below in the description with three links to the three web fiction platforms that I have posted it on. Those include Royal Road, Scribble Hub, and Wattpad. And thus, by the rules of YouTube sponsorship, uh, you guys are now compelled, obliged even, to check out my, my book. So, the book that I will reviewing today was again, like I said, requested by Hido F, which I have to thank them for. And you guys should remember, if there's anything, any type of com any type of content, reviews or otherwise that you're interested in seeing me taking on in future, please remember to leave a comment. And also just remember, if you're interested in this book, show the the writer some love by you know checking it out leaving a comment you know the usual if you're if you really like the book so the book in question which is called the chronicles of the deadly dead is a web novel published on webnovel.com by david nielsen who according to the synopsis of his book is an e-global creative publishing signed author it is a completed story with around 90 chapters and with around 27.5 thousand views. So yeah, it's been seen by a lot of people and the fact that it is completed with 90 chapters, which is short for a web novel, but good enough for this one, which is short for web novel. And you won't have to worry about never really catching up because this one's already completed. And, but one thing is, and I know I haven't mentioned this, but it's a thing that happens on web novel is a lots of books are, how do I put this? Lots of books, if they're big, have chapters which are locked and which you can only see if you're a YouTube member, I mean, if you're a web novel member and you have coins to unlock them, to view them. So that will be problematic if you don't have a web novel account, but if you do and you have enough coins, you can do it. Though this book, weirdly enough, starts locking chapters from chapter 10. But since I have a web novel account and I had enough coins I was able to read further than that so yeah I just wanted to put this out there so the synopsis of this book goes as 14 year old Zach Thornwood's life is turned upside down one day after baseball practice when he spots an eight-fingered man with a hole in his head disappear into the ground. Hoeing Head Man is quickly followed by Xander Moon, a self-titled Hunter of the Dead, who explains that there are tons of dead people walking around pretending not to be dead. They look alive, they act alive, but they're almost definitely not alive. And this is most definitely not a good thing. Xander gives Zack the ability to tell the dead from the living through their unique odor. He smells dead people. And the following, and the two follow Hoeing Headman, whose name is Gus, 
into an ancient tomb hidden underground in the middle of the suburbia. There they beat Gus to a prize containing a squishy spleen. The spleen is one of the legendary 14 pieces that when assembled create the Osiris machine, which will bring about the end of the world. Zack tries to go back to his normal life, but when Gus tries to kill him in the middle of the playground, he discovers the deadly dead are not through with him just yet. When Zack touched the squishy spleen, the location of the next piece of Osiris machine was more or less downloaded into his brain. Gus and the people he works for, including the mysterious and mysterious and utterly evil Miss Bubbles, want the information, and they will stop at nothing to get it. So yeah, first things first. You if you haven't seen my reviews, just know I don't do spoilers. So I try to not step into spoiler territory. If you are interested in the book and I don't want to spoil it for you, you gotta read it. And just from the synopsis, you already know what this book is. It's very comedic, which is one of the first things that I will praise about it. And this aspect of it is there from like the first page. Even nicely written comedic moments like when Zack meets Xander. Sorry, I mean Mr. Moon. Yeah, did a little inside joke there that you won't know until you read the book. So, you know, go read the book. And yeah, the comedic moments and the dialogue between the characters is one of this book's greatest strong points. The author has written some well-written characters. And from this, it really helps them from their first-person perspective writing when it comes to Zack. Like, Zack is just one of my most favorite characters of right now. He's a sarcastic protagonist with a clever, biting wit. And, yeah, he's just there in my top shelf of people whose head I like being in when I'm reading. Because he can have some very hilarious and funny sarcastic moments and not to take anything away from Xander as well Xander is also a very well written character like I legitimately enjoyed reading this book and yeah that's what I can say the the thing that I praise the most from this book are the characters and the dialogue if you are in if you like books that have well written characters who you will enjoy reading about this is the one that I guarantee for you and uh, what else yeah it's extremely descriptive though yeah the book the the story is written from a first person perspective so Zach really helps describe a lot of things so it's extremely descriptive the book and now here's the where I am sort of crossed with the book. See, this book is very, very fast paced. Like from chapter one, chapter one immediately, the high impact points of the story start there. It doesn't waste any time. It immediately takes you and drags you all the way to the, the interaction with Gus. And I like that. I like that in a story. But here's where I have my problem. It's like the problem which I had with Steampunk Apocalypse. Things are happening too fast. And yeah, I. It's. The, if you have a problem with stories that are too fast paced, you will have a story with this one. I. I can say that some places it's not too fast paced, but when the story is starting, like everything just breezes through a lot of things. It doesn't really take that time before any of the supernatural start ha any of the supernatural stuff happens to to help develop uh, Zach's 
life outside of it. I mean, that does happen later, but it doesn't do that the first time. And that can be difficult for some readers. Uh, it does describe what his life is like. And I can't really fault the author that much for it. Because one thing that I do know, and I have a lot of friends who enjoy reading, is that they hate it when some books are too slow paced like before any of the action stuff happens it takes too much time and this is something that i'm more lenient on as a writer and a reader but mainly as a writer because it's very hard to strike that good balance like how much do you stick into the mundane parts before you instantly jump to the supernatural parts yeah that's that's mainly my problem, but I think it would be a subjective problem for, wh for whoever you ask. But yeah, that has been my review. And I I've got to say, this is my favorite book of this month. I loved reading this book. I guarantee it for anyone. It's lighthearted. It's fun. You will like it. Remember, this is just my opinion. You might not like it, but I guarantee there's a light chance that you will like it. Just reading from the synopsis, this book tells you exactly what it is it's a fun comedy so yeah i know this isn't as big as my usual reviews but i'm been a bit busy and this was what i could squeeze out of this but remember if you want to check out the book you can go to the link in the description below and there you will find what you need and again if you like the video leave a comment below Leave a like and uh, what else? Oh, yeah. And you can subscribe because YouTube really enjoys it when your channel is viewed by people who are subscribed. It really helps build the channel. And you can share the videos from this channel or this one to people who could be interested in and it can help build the channel. But yeah, right now I'm working on a video about Eastern fantasy and western fantasy the difference so yeah you can look forward to that one 